Now that you've learned how to recognize microexpressions, let me tell you why they occur and what you need to consider before deciding what triggered them. Microexpressions often occur when people are deliberately trying to conceal the emotion they are feeling. They can also occur when someone is totally unaware of how he or she is feeling. Thus, they can be the result of conscious suppression or unconscious repression. And here's the kicker. They look exactly the same, whether they're the product of suppression or repression. Usually, the context in which a micro occurs will make it clear whether it was generated by suppression or repression. But that's the first issue you need to consider. Here's the second issue you need to be aware of. Emotions don't tell you their trigger. You have to figure that out often by asking follow-up questions. For example, innocent people may conceal fear or anger if they realize they're under suspicion and show a microexpression. That doesn't prove they're the perpetrator of a crime only that they are concealing an emotion in response to whatever was asked of them. To know they're feeling fear or anger and are trying to conceal those feelings should help you talk to them, but don't jump to the conclusion that you know why the micro occurred. You need to find out.